I'm going to give you a few examples of how measurement is actually, mm, at some point, is actually being ridiculous. Hi, welcome to my another spontaneous breakdown of uh, body battery feature in Garmin. Today, let me check my list. Today, I'm going to answer some sensitive questions like So, the last time I was talking about how to get the highest score uh, with body battery. But today I'm going to ask the question, is it really body battery? Is it really recovery shown on your, uh, on your device? Because from my experience, it could be showing something different. Uh, the main reason that actually affects uh, the whole process is your gut health. So if your gut health is not good, probably doesn't matter how strong you feel, your indication on the Garmin will be very, very low because all that orange bars appear when your gut is struggling with, with digestive processes, especially when they take a long time. Okay, just because uh, as a main cause of all the battery uh, going low is your gut health, and stability of your heart rate um, that is actually measured by 24 hours. I don't think that is showing actually your level of energy and how you are ready to exercise or not. Just taking those two things is not a good measurement to estimate if your body is in a good condition. That device relies on your settings so if you set up something uh, not uh, the way that actually designer uh, was expecting you can have results that not showing actually um, what's going on in your body it's showing something that algorithm is trying to figure out from the measurements. I'm going to give you a few examples of how measurement is actually mm, at some point is actually being ridiculous and then you can just you know judge by yourself if you really want to trust that, that device. Garmin never knows if you really sleep so you have to tell him first uh, the hours. You can actually as estimate that probably between midnight and 6 a.m. you probably sleep but if you you have to set it up on the on settings so in this time uh, Garmin is actually considering you not moving and your heart and and stomach being calm as a sleep as a deep sleep and at the same time if you sleep during the day, if you take a nap, if you uh, if you sleep for two hours during the day, uh, it's just considering as a resting that you actually sit in the chair and watching TV. Sleeping with Garmin is as well not that comfortable. I have venue which is not very big. Uh, I used to have before the smallest one, uh, and that that actually was quite nice to sleep with, but. This bigger one, the phoenixes and stuff like that, but it's quite actually bothering me during the sleep. So I wake up like few times, sometimes few times uh, a night, which actually makes my measurement uh, like a bit ridiculous because I wake up because of the measurement. So my sleep is uh, not properly inducted let's say the sleep is in cycles like let's say 75 minutes to 90 minutes every cycle and first two cycles when you go to sleep and you're tired first two cycles uh, give you back the, the most energy and most cases after two cycles if something is bothering you in your bed after that two cycles you very often wake up for pee or, or if something is just like noise or uh, or something is just bothering your body too tight pajamas then you're probably going to uh, wake up for a while 
the body battery is algorithm that actually uh, relays on 24 hours uh, cycle so it always starts at midnight and finishes at midnight so your body battery is calculated from midnight to midnight so if you go to sleep at 9 p.m you've got three hours of sleep that actually contribute to the, the previous day and the next hours that you know happen after midnight uh, contribute to the next day so that one thing that is actually probably making uh, for algorithm a hard to calculate the second thing is estimation after midnight uh, is always uh, depending on the time of the night so if you wake up too early you're uh, like before let's say 6 a.m. That, that you set up as a normally sleep, sleeping time uh, the algorithm will be actually treating this like uh, disrupted sleep and probably you're not rested enough so if you wake up two hours before the six you probably have like 55 60 percent and if you're not resting after that that will be your actually base point uh, for the whole day very similar way uh, the calories during the day are being counted so for instance the let's say average basic metabolic rate is 2000 calories per day so every hour uh, the algorithm is like either adding or um, counting down the calories like 80 calories every hour or 85 calories every hour is just calculating to the uh, to this you know the whole um, amount so for instance at 6 uh, 6 a.m that would be six times 80 85 calories already counted that you burn just resting in any activity that you're actually doing is always uh, included the time if you were uh, exercising for half an hour is 40 calories extra so that's one of the thing that actually gives me you know uh, indication why I shouldn't rely on this and uh, the second thing I can't remember <laughs> a few minutes later settings can very much affect and screw your readings so it happened to me before I was resetting uh, my device and instead of 6 a.m. I put 6 p.m. so after that uh, I didn't realize actually it didn't check on GPS or it didn't check on the device that was connected to uh, it didn't check that and I was working uh, with that shift 12 hours every time when i was doing something during the day it was counting as a counted as a done during the night and at the same time when i was uh, sleeping it was like sleeping during the day it was always something wrong it it took me like a week or 10 days to figure out then i reset it again and suddenly everything was uh, you know like properly measured intermittent fasting that really makes funny readings on uh, on Garmin because just because you're not eating for 20 hours uh, you skip a few meals and your stomach is very calm uh, your heart is calm because of fasting as well uh, so in your readings uh, your recovery is going high is going up and after 20 hours you actually waiting for uh, you know the time for your window to be fit to be fed uh, you could be a bit you know lightheaded you could be a bit weak but your readings are like really high you should actually go for a run uh, at the same time when you actually start feeding window you start eating you inhaling 1500 calories of some nutritious uh, food that actually should give you a kick of energy uh, suddenly your your readings are that you're in stress 90 95 uh, points of stress and that that vivid orange bars are actually just filling up the the 
you know the display and it just means that uh, you digesting but for the um, for Garmin uh, it means that you in very hard stress very high stress which is a bit ridiculous uh, so it's like actually opposite when you feel f uh, weak and fine because you didn't eat uh, your indication is that you should go for a run and opposite when you actually feel the energy kicking in you should go for a rest and the device is showing you just take a uh, few moments to just relax so do i really care about uh, the readings of body battery uh, for me just personally uh, i've been athlete for uh, at least two decades uh, without any measurements and I was just using uh, you know the, the signals from my body uh, if I was rested or not and the, the first main thing that was discipline so it didn't matter how, uh, how actually I could measure uh, my stress or uh, uh, you know how I felt I actually was disciplined enough to go with sport so still does it really matter if you go for training unless you actually just feeling really bad and you feel inside you shouldn't go for training uh, I think Garmin is not good enough to tell me if I should go or not uh, so you have to decide if you want to go to the gym if you want to go for a run if you don't feel right probably even if you have score 100 you probably not not going to go so that's the answer.